Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Um, yeah, today's video is not about the EcoFlow. I love this old guy though. This guy is about 75 cents or a little bit less per uh, watt, per watt hour. Uh, LiPo 4 batteries, charges real fast. It's, yeah, I'm recharging it, use it all the time. So uh, anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here to show you a really cool power supply. And you know what, guys? I have this Matrix power supply up here. Uh, really nice. It's kind of a digital version. It's kind of in between these two here. Um, GWS Tech and this Tektronics is fully digital. Uh, so this guy's actually digital too. Just looks analog. So that's a Matrix power supply. This LCR meter, two thumbs up, big two thumbs up for that meter. Really enjoy that meter. And yeah, so I've got some Matrix stuff around here. And I also have this little power supply down here. You can't see it probably where you are. It's a little programmable one. I I think I've shown that. In a, I think I've done a full review on that. Maybe not, actually. I don't remember <laughs> doing that. I got to catch up. I have the Womp Tech up here, which I really like this one. And I really like the Matrix. I. I'm kind of going between those, been testing them out. So I'll do a follow-up review on those power supplies. I've got a bunch of power supplies, um, these expensive Xantrex, but guess what, guys? I have another one, a Matrix. And this is, I'm really excited about this. I think this can, and it's actually pretty heavy. This can be a, wow. I don't think this is a switching power supply. This might be a linear. Anyway, this is going to be really cool. I'm going to get it out of the box and put it on the bench. You know, I was going to pull it out of the box and then show it to you, but I thought I'd talk to you while I do this in case you're interested or you can speed by this part. But, yeah, I've got this audio amplifier out here. I'm going to do a bunch of audio reviews. I've got the old John Audio Tech power supply is going to design. I'm going to jump back on that. We're going to kind of go over what we've done already. And I've got some cool stuff I want to show you on that. Been doing a lot of stuff in the background. A lot of these videos take a lot of research on my part to kind of uh, look in details to kind of give you a little more depth in things. And I want to show you how to pick out that inductor value. Uh, there's all kinds of formulas for that. And look at this. Matrix always gives nice catalogs, nice or I mean nice manuals. Okay, so I'll show you a close up of that. But yeah, nice manual. I will pull it out of the, well, I guess, all right guys, so, a bunch of, wow, it looks like power cables, this is kind of heavy bag, so, looks like communication cable and power cable. All right, so I just kind of like to show you the packaging because some sometimes things aren't packaged too great, but you know, certain companies, for instance, this box, it's the double walled box and it came up uh, this box within another box. So Matrix I've found um, ship scenes very well. So I, I just kind of like to show you that. It, some people want to have a little confidence that they're going to receive something in good shape. So just wanted to point that out. Man, same form factor it looks like. A little bit thinner, not as tall, but I think it's going to be the same width and similar length. You know, a lot of these things are different lengths, but you know, they have the similar form factor in front, right? This guy does look thinner. This feels like a linear power supply. Um, yeah, this is heavy. A lot of weight up front, but it is pretty well distributed. But it is a little bit heavier in the front. Has some large feet here. And here's a switch for 110, 220. So now this kind of form factor of power supply or multimeter or whatever, you know, LCR meter. Actually, this looks like the same form factor as LCR meter, but they have these handles that you pull out. This thing has been around for, 
I don't know. I want to say at least as long as I've been doing electronics. Hewlett Packard um, had a lot of these. That Roland Schwartz has handles like this. That's, you know, but I've got older devices. So this kind of form factor has been around for a long time. And uh, so it's kind of a standard. But AC with the fuse. RS-232 USB. And this jumper guy, which already has a bunch of jumpers on it. it says channel one, channel two, and channel three. And of course we have our fan. Oh man. I have to power this on, show it to you. But this just box opening. So um, we're gonna test this thing out in the next video, okay? I just wanted to make these videos a little bit shorter. So if you just kind of want to see it and Man, this looks nice. Programmable power supply. This knob has a little indent and it has the nice little clicky, you know, uh, ratchety feeling um, knob here. So that's nice. Encoder knob, right? So it's like a digital knob, I'm sure. And then, yeah, arrows, current set, voltage set, meter, on off. I love power supplies that you can do on off. So you can not power the meter power supply on off but you can do on off on your output i love that so that's really neat and the power button's over here so there we go let's get a power cord hook it up and oh, at least show you the what it looks like okay all right guys so this is pretty nice it comes with three sets of these power cables okay banana to alligator these are pretty nice. That's plenty good for 3.2 amps, I'm pretty sure. We'll test it. And, I mean, in the next video, we will. And let me know what else you guys like to see. Here's a nice power cord, okay? And uh, RS-232 communications cord. So, yeah, it comes with all those things. And also, let's look at the manual real quick. First, it comes to the calibration date. Uh, QC passed and it shows all the calibration numbers here and what it was tested with so Triple output programmable power supply. I'll just kind of thumb through this just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. I Mean I find these uh, manuals they provide, you know, very nice so especially how intuitive the user interface is and here's constant current, constant voltage. So there we go. Now let's look at the display. Maybe it's looking better. Um, but yeah, so if we're gonna set the you know 32 volts, 3.2 amps, I can change what digit I want to set this to by clicking on this guy. So it makes it really easy to set up. There's voltage set, current set, OVP, over voltage protection. We'll go through all that in the, you know, the full review, okay? Pretty nice. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys would like to see me test, okay? All right, guys, so what do you think? Um, 32 volts on channel 1 and 2, uh, 3.2 amps on all three. On channel 3, it's good for 6.2 volts, it looks like. So, yeah, pretty nice, right? Programmable. I like the way Matrix does it. It's really easy to use, really intuitive, uh, nice quality from what I can tell. Next video, let me know what you guys would like to see tested or how you like to see me test this thing. But my idea is to load it down, look at the output signals, look at the noise, the ripple, whatever. And like I say, this is heavy. So I have a feeling we have a linear transform in here. So we're going to have some really super clean voltages coming out here. And this thing's going to look really nice underneath my matrix. I think I'll put it underneath the matrix LCR meter. But, yeah, let me know if... You know, oh, by the way, that display, right? Super cool. Uh, I think, what do they call them? The fluorescent displays. But, yeah, really nice. Kind of old school in a way instead of the LCD. But really nice. Um, there you go. I'll, I'll go more into the functionality and how how you set it up and... and uh, how it works and everything, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm really excited to test this thing. Thank you, Matrix, for sending this to me for free. Um, 
is really neat. I, I think it's a new product, so they asked me if I wanted to take a look at it. I think it's relatively new. Actually, you know what? Now that I think of it, there's actually another power supply, but then it ran out of stock already. So um, they sent me this instead. So I'm not sure if this is also new. Is it? I have to look into that. Let me know what you guys think. But let me know what power supplies you guys like in this kind of form factor, this kind of voltage factor. Um, so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And by the way, two thumbs up to my patrons as always. Really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I've been uh, doing some family stuff, been up in the mountains. You guys might have seen a short video I did, a little short I did on a beaver dam. <laughs> Um, I've been doing uh, getting the house ready for winter. Uh, we had a tough winter last year, so this year I'm trying to do a little bit more prep for that, trimming trees and all this kind of last-minute stuff, cleaning gutters, you know, all those things you have to do um, when you live in snow country. So, sorry I haven't put out a lot of videos in the last few weeks, but I'm going to catch up. It's winter, so that'll give me another reason to catch up. So, I've got so many videos here. So many ideas. I got this little audio amplifier. I'm going to kick out some videos on that. I'm going to start putting together a standard on how to test um, and how to you know quantify or the performance of these audio amplifiers. So I've got several Fosse amplifiers I'm going to do. And I've got some IEMAs. And yeah, we're going to see how they stack up. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.